Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So more recently, my wife had given birth to our second kid and we were in need of getting a bassinet. It's something that can help us to soothe the baby and keep the baby sleep longer during the nighttime. So we come across this four months mama root sleep bassinet and today I'm gonna to review this, give you an idea how to assemble it and how to use it and what you can expect from using this bassinet. Now to start off, let's talk about the assembly. Uh, to be honest, the box was really hard to open. I, I think the whole process of assembling this bassinet was easier than to open up the box itself. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to, to rip the uh, side open so I can get the bassinet out. Now the assembly is really straightforward. You've got the whole body of the bassinet itself. And what you need to do is to open up the bassinet itself. Now there are two sides you need to bring it up you will hear sound and once that's on then this is holding as assembly now that's the assembly itself and it's really straightforward and now let's talk about the functionality there are two ways you can control this you can either control it via the control panel here or you can control it via the app now let's just focus on the control panel for now now you have the on and off button now i found it kind of touchy for the buttons and you kind of have to Touch it for a low, like really hit on it in order to bring up. If you just tap on it, nothing happens. You have the car ride, you have the kangaroo, you have the tree swing, you have the rock and by, and then you have wave. And you also have the music button and then the volume button here. Now, to give you an idea, now this is the first more car ride. The bassinet is moving side to side up and down. Now you can increase the strength of this car ride just by tapping on it again. It can go up to five. Now this is the the highest mode. Now I can, as you can see, it is moving a lot faster. Now typically, I, we don't go up that high. And usually at nighttime, maybe on level one or two at the most. And then rock a buy. Just be careful if you switch between modes. Uh, Sometimes, as you can see, the, the bassinet kind of jerk a little bit. It was a little bit harsh. So just make sure that uh, you can stop the process and then restart again if needed. Music, you have four different types. Let me just give you an idea what you can expect in terms of the noise level. So I'm holding the mic relatively close to the machine now. And, and this is the highest level. Now you can tell from the video, the noise is there, but it's not that annoying or nuisance. Uh, especially when you put on the white noise at nighttime. So the music is actually pretty soothing, not only for the baby, but also for the adults as well. Now anyway, let's talk about the app. I think for this type of machine, if you really want to get the full use out of it, you really need to download the app. Uh, what you need to do is download the 4Moms app. Now once you bring it up, uh, you need to register. I already done that part. You just need to use your email and just tell them a little bit information about your kid and uh, you will see the screen here. Now you can use the plus sign here to add whichever product that you just bought. Now for us, we have the Mama Root Sleep Bassinet. Click on it. Now it says the Bluetooth is turned off. So you need to go to a setting and then turn the Bluetooth on. Now once the Bluetooth is on, then you can go into pair your device is to hold the music simple button here now you can hold it for three seconds and it should bring up a little symbol here with the bluetooth right next to the on off button so now you just need to give it a name and it will be pretty much the same you can control all different type of motion and then the level through the app now, i think it's much easier to control via the app because the control panel on the bassinet is a little bit touchy. So I prefer using the app rather than with the control panel. You can also select the sound as well. 
You can also set a timer because sometimes you might not want the bassinet to keep rocking your baby. So then you can set a timer to how long the machine should be running to soothe your baby or put your baby to sleep. Now one of the things that's really cool is called the find your root. And then if you go into motion, you will see the find your root. And on the home screen of your app, you will see the find your root as well. So how this thing work is that you put your phone right on your arm and then you fold your arm as if you are holding your baby, right? So you will move as if you are rocking your baby normally. By doing so, the app will determine uh, how closely it is your rocking motion against the mama root bassinet motion. So it will find the closest for this type of movement. I just did an example. Uh, this is not my normal rocking motion. And the recommendation from the app was tree swing with the wave at speed five. So that's quite high. So I just kind of did that as, as an example. This is a pretty cool feature to have. So that way you can actually preset the device once you put your baby in there and you can just use that as a preset. Now see, I put the preset and now the machine is doing the tree swing at level five. All right, so let's talk about the pros and cons with this bassinet. Now the legs on this bassinet can be extended or lower. So that is really helpful because my wife that is much shorter than me, we set the bassinet actually lower by taking part of the leg out. So that way it's easier for her to take the baby in and out during the nighttime. Another pro is that this machine really works, especially with our baby. When we put her in there and really rock her to sleep and soothe her and keep her to sleep as well. Part of the reason why we need one on this machine is uh, the fact that we don't have any other people to come in and help us join the nighttime. Now, with our first kid, we actually have a night nanny, but uh, she is unavailable this year. So because of that, we are unable to find someone in the last minute and we wanted to get a bassinet that can help us. Uh, daytime is much easier. We can function normally in daytime, but nighttime, especially in the first month or two, the baby fuss a lot and then we have to feed her in the nighttime. So it really helped out a lot uh, with a bassinet that can soothe her to sleep or rock her to sleep. To some people, this is a really good investment if you are not getting any other helper that can come in during the nighttime, especially at nighttime. Another pro about this bassinet is, uh, as you can see from the app itself, the app really helps out in terms of determining what kind of rocking motion that you normally have with your kid, and that way it can mimic the same rocking motion. So then it, when you transfer your kid from your arm to the bassinet, uh, he or she might not feel too much of a difference. Hopefully that's the case anyway. Some of the cons are, this bassinet is still not cheap, right? At the time of filming, it was almost $360. Now granted, it's much cheaper than the Snoo we have reviewed, and it's still not cheap compared to just regular bassinet. Especially you have to factor in, this bassinet can only support kids up to 25 pounds or up to six months. If the kid is able to start rolling around or start climbing, you have to transfer the kid into a regular non-moving type of bassinet. So this bassinet actually has a limit to how long you can use it for. You need to consider that when you are factoring in uh, whether or not you want to buy one of this. Another thing I didn't like about this bassinet is the mattress inside the bassinet itself. It's kind of harsh. The thing is best if you want to put something more soft to cover the mattress itself because the mattress sheet that it comes with is not that comfortable. So anyway, this is my review of the Mama Root Sleep Bassinet. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.